Hey guys. Uh, so in today's video, what we're going to be doing is looking at majority element. And so this is super easy. It says given an array nums of size n, return the majority element. And so it says the majority element is always going to appear uh, more than n divided by two times. So, um, you know, if if uh, n is 10, it's going to appear at least six times. You may assume that the majority element always exists in the array. OK, and so in the examples that they give. Um, the what they do is. Uh, they, they always have just two elements. Well, that may not always be the case, but it doesn't matter because if we have four twos uh, and then we have like a one and a five and a four, the, the four twos are still going to be like the majority element. And so one way we can do this is just to sort the array. And if we sort the array um, and more than half of the elements are a single number, then the middle number of the sorted array is going to be equal to that majority element. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, so um, let's go ahead and, and sort those real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and copy them. Given this sorted array, or given this array, if we sorted it, we would have one, 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 and then two, 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 two. Okay. And then if we go to the midpoint, which is right here, we're going to end up with the majority element. Okay. And it will work like that every single time. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and code up that solution and let's see, uh, where that gets us. Okay. So, um, we're just going to use the arrays.sort um, to go ahead and sort our array out. And so here we're just going to say, and then this is nums. So now it's sorted and we're going to return uh, nums at nums.length divided by two. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and submit. And we are, um, you know, right, you know, somewhere in the middle. Um, now, here's the thing. This is an elegant solution. Two lines of code is always, you know, pretty cool uh, solving leak code. However, this may not be the best solution. And now why not? Well, it all lies in the implementation of this sort. Uh, there is, there is no sort that is faster than n log n. Okay. Uh, merge sort, quick sort, whatever is all going to be n log n. Uh, so, so this, even though it's only two lines, is an n log n solution. And so we can do it faster than that. We can do it in O of n time. OK, so but how are we going to do that? Well, like I've said before, whenever you're in doubt, throw a hash map at it. <laughs> I really enjoyed that video. Um, but let's look at this. OK, so let's go ahead and create our hash map. It would help if I spelled it correctly. Okay, so hash map, and we're going to have uh, integer. Call it map. Okay, so we have our hash map, and now we're going to loop through our nums. So we're just going to say for... Uh, and n inside of nums, 
and we're going to say if um, map dot contains key um, and then we're just going to say num <laughs> wow we're going to say num and so if it does not contain the key what are we going to do well we're going to put it uh, we're going to put it there so we're going to say map dot put and the key is going to be num and we're going to give it an initial value of one all right this is going to be our else statement and we're going to say uh, map dot put and then we're going to get what the previous value so we're going to say map dot get num plus one okay so this is going to update that value and so we have updated the value here at some point since we're guaranteed to have a number that is greater than 50% prevalent, we're going to just check, well, hey, if map.get num get num is greater than nums.length divided by two, we can go ahead and return Go ahead and get rid of this. We can go ahead and return num. Okay. And so uh, basically, and then here, like down here, we could just say, just uh, just in case it uh, gives us, hey, there's no return statement. Um, but this is definitely going to return something because it says that we're guaranteed to find the element there. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's see here. Map dot contains key. Oh, so. Duh. So that's uh, an N. We're not. I, I normally put num num there, uh, but I just decided to put in. Uh, so here, let's go ahead and run that. Course, 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 course. We will get there. Okay. So uh, this is what the code looks like right here. So and n if it contains n, we're going to put n. Um, if it does not contain n, we're going to put n. If it so, if, and if it does contain n, we're going to uh, put n plus the previous value uh, that was stored at n, and then we are going to check to see if um, that value is greater than nums that length divided by two. Okay, so that looks good to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code. And we'll go ahead and submit that. Uh, so this doesn't make any sense, uh, but let's go ahead and submit it again. <laughs> um, but anyways. So what is the complexity here? Well, the complexity is going to be O N instead of our previous example. Um, let me go ahead and go down. So th this is this is our O N login uh, example, and then here we have our O of N uh, example, uh, and so it just goes to show that these these numbers uh, don't mean a whole lot. Okay, um, but if you're in interview, 
and you said, well, on leak code, it ran in five milliseconds, but you know, this one ran in 17, uh, they would say, okay. Uh, and they would move on to the next candidate. All you need to know is the, the big O notation. Okay. Um, so O of N and O of N. All right. Basically. So, um, it, that is going to be, uh, it for, um, majority element. And, uh, you know, if you found this useful, go ahead and like, and subscribe. Um, I will see you in the next video as we count down through all these grind 75 problems. Uh, take care.